All right, got a shipment in today. Uh, it was a nice surprise. I ordered this about a week ago um, on eBay. Some of these ER20 collets, uh, they were $3.99, uh, shipped from China. Um, and yeah, I was doing some searching that I could only find them. I don't know, I didn't find very good prices anywhere stateside. Um, I mean, they were significantly less than that. And I also picked up some of these ER20 um, TTS style uh, collet holders. Um, these for 10 of them were about $160. The quality is uh, outstanding. Uh, absolutely perfect from everything I can see. Um, They've got the slots on there for your wrench to go on. It's got a three-quarter inch shank for the Tormach style uh, tool changer setups. Um, very good quality. And I got some of the half-inch uh, ER20 collets for some of my uh, end mills and um, also an edge finder here. Um, and just I'll show you how to... Uh, get these in you want to push that collet in until it clicks and the front's uh, pretty close to flush with the face there if you don't do that first you will be wondering uh, what you got yourself into thinking that there's something wrong but um, that's it and then get it, the uh, collet nut started there just on maybe one thread or so and then insert your uh, desired tool in the collet and put it in as far as you uh, need to and then go ahead and snug that guy up and um, you'll obviously want to snug it up with a wrench or whatever later but uh, that's it and I'll I'll do a review of the run out of these later um, but just wanted to show you that for now uh, I'll probably be storing them in these little uh, containers that they came in maybe maybe not I don't know so then I'll get a 3 8 one in there really quick it's kind of funny they they come in these little little things like this and when I was thinking you know uh, collets I was thinking a little bigger than this I've only used R8 um, collets in the past never owned an ER20 anything or ER40 or anything else so <laughs> these little things showed up I thought it, I, I misordered um, until I got the ER20 um, holders here and uh, actually inserted one in there. Um, I didn't really believe that I'd got it right. So, anyway, it can be deceiving. And, uh, yeah, I'm just glad gl glad it's going to work out because I will have invested a little more money than I like to throw out the window if they didn't work. So, uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can get a, a 3 8 um, end mill in there. Fits real nice. And uh, yeah, just going to snug that up real quick. And I don't have a power draw bar currently, but my intent is to build one for the G0704 that I'm building with Haas's plans. And uh, I saw these uh, collet holders on YouTube. I was watching Rough Stuff's uh, YouTube videos. I believe that's his name on there. And uh, he also used Haas's plans. So um, it's, uh, he's put a lot of good videos out there, kind of helping people out um, that are looking to do similar things. So, uh, informative videos, uh, him and Haas's, uh, both, um, b both their videos are real great for information. So, um, let's see here. I'll do another 3 8 I ordered eight of the 3 8 uh, ER20 collets. Um, ten of these tool holders total, like I was saying. Um, and I think I ordered three of the half inch, uh, collet holders. Because I, I don't know how many I'll, I'll need, but I'd like to have a couple as a option. So I just put this in there, push it down until it clicks, then get it started. And the holder, grab the 3 8 collet, get that guy started. Of course it doesn't work smooth on video. There we go. Get that choked in there. I don't know what standoff I want yet, but I'm just putting a couple in here to show you guys how how it goes. Um, the first time I tried this, I was real disappointed. I thought I'd messed up and ordered something wrong, but uh, they just require you to um, definitely take the ER20 collet and put it into the cap first. This is the best way I've found to do it. 
there's probably a faster or better way, but I've never read any instructions. I'm really bad about that. I like to kind of figure it out on my own. Sometimes it, um, it's probably faster to do it some other way, but I enjoy trying to figure out how they invented the wheel. Um, so anyway, this is redundant, but I've got to do it anyway, and my hands are oily, so I don't feel like stopping the camera now. Yep. Anyway, if you're considering buying these and you're wondering about the quality, jump on them. These things are great. This uh, very, very good machining done here. Uh, yeah, precision ground, very, very nice finish and everything on these uh, Chinese ER20 collets. Um, I don't know if the the Tormox are made in the USA or not. Um, I know the uh, Tormox itself uh, appears to be foreign. So if, uh, if you're concerned about spending uh, your money in the US, uh, which I'd understand, um, I don't know if you can do it with Tormox or not. Some of the money's coming here, but uh, some of that for the manufacturing is leaving uh, for sure.